Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at 10 urban crime movies or hood movies. Um, now some movies, some urban crime movies aren't necessarily hood movies. Hood movies, in my, to me, is hood movies is not a genre. Hood movies to me focus more on the hood. Urban crime movies are heavily based on the hood, but they don't focus on the hood as a way. That's not the main target of the movie. Like Deep Cover, I, I would consider that like a, a urban crime movie, but not necessarily a hood movie, even though it touches on some hood elements. Another one, just to give you guys an example, In Too Deep with LL Cool J and Omar Epps. I would consider that a hood movie, even though it's still an urban crime movie because he's going undercover, but the backdrop of that movie is definitely the hood. So I would call that a hood movie. That's how I kind of figure it out. So without further ado, we're going to take a look at 10, we'll just call the genre urban crime movies. We're going to take a look at 10. So starting the list off with 1990s King of New York, uh, Christopher Walken and Lawrence Fishburne gave excellent performances in this movie. Frank White, that character, because this movie came out in the early 90s, a lot of the rappers from that time, they, well, not a lot. We, I know one who, there's a couple, but there's one in particular, Biggie, Biggie Smalls, the Notorious B.I.G., for those of you who don't remember. The Notorious B.I.G., that was one of his alter egos, Frank White. So he called himself Frank White in a lot of his songs, Frank White or Frankie Baby. So Frank White is definitely a character Kings of New York is definitely a great movie. Christopher Walken gave one hell of a performance. There's a lot of great quotes in this movie. I'm telling you, all y'all getting fat when everybody starved. I mean, this movie, it's just so many. If a nickel bag gets sold in Central Park, I want in. If a card game is going down, I want in. I'm telling you, Frank White was the man. King of New York. Next up, we going up to... 2002, Shot Us. Shot Us is a banging. Now, this is a hood movie. This is not an urban crime movie. This, to me, it's still classified as urban crime, but this is a straight up hood movie. This is one of the best hood movies you can get your hands on. It doesn't really come up in a lot of urban crime or hood movies list. It's not really as mainstream as like Juice, Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society. Belly, um, even though Belly is, uh, you could call it a hood movie or New Jack City. It doesn't, it's not as well known as those, but it's to me just as good. Shot us. Next up, we're going to go to, again, 2002, we stand in O2. We're going to go to Paid in Full. Makai Kife, Makai Fife, uh, Wood Harris and Cameron all gave excellent performances in this uh, portrayal of Mitch Porter and Al Poe. Um, this was a great, uh, I'll call it a hood movie or urban crime movie, whatever you want to call it. We'll just go back to call them hood movies. This was a great hood movie. It was a, it, the soundtrack for this was amazing. This is um, on its way to becoming a classic, but it's not there yet. You know, same thing with with music, cars. Sometimes a car will come out and it take years for it to become a classic or, you know, even a cult hit. So right now, Paid in Full is definitely coming up in, in the ranks as far as becoming a hood classic movie. Next up, we're going to go to 1992. We're going to go back a little bit. 1992, we're going to take a look at South Central. South Central is, is a really good one because South Central... It's show, it shows the relationship of a father who was in jail for the majority of his son's life, getting out and not wanting his son to be what he is. But the son is very young and, and he's influenced by the wrong people doing the wrong things. And the father got to get in there and save his son. This is a really good movie. South Central, I was hoping that Kino, Lor that Kino Lorber would pick this up for a Blu-ray release. But right now it's only available on DVD. It's not the easiest to find. I mean, it's not hard to find, but I doubt you'll walk into a Walmart or a Best Buy and find this. You might be able to find it on their websites, or you can definitely get a copy of this on eBay. I got lucky and found this in my mom and pop store. So, South Central. Next up, we're going to go to 1995. We're going to take a look at a really good one. This one's called Clockers. 
all-star cast in this one. You got Delroy, Lim Delroy Lindo, Harvey Keitel, uh, John Totoro, Makai Fife, Isaiah Washington, Keith David, star-studded cast. Delroy Lindo gave one hell of a performance in this movie. Everybody did. Everybody played their part, but Delroy Lindo is one of those type of actors who just don't get enough shine. He did, he did I mean, I could think of two movies that he just did a stellar job in. This is one of them. And he also did a great job in Malcolm X playing uh, Indian Archie. I'm telling you, man, that guy, Delroy Lindo, I would have loved to see him just do more. But the stuff he did do was incredible. Clockers. Next up, we're going to go to a bona fide classic. A bona fide classic in the space. Everybody knows this movie. 1991's New Jack City, starring Wesley Snipes. Mario Van Peebles, Ice-T, just a fantastic movie. I'll be sure. Man, this movie right here, this is definitely, this also kind of catapulted Wesley Snipes into the next, into, you know, to the next level. Next up, we're going to take a look at 1995's New Jersey Drive. New Jersey Drive is a movie that is so underrated, so underappreciated in the genre. The soundtrack was amazing. The movie was great. I'm not going to say it was amazing, but for what it was, it was a great movie. For the genre that it belongs into, like hood movies, urban crime movies, it was a great movie. You're not expecting A1 acting in these, but this was pretty damn good. Had a couple of cameos by rappers in here. It was all about car theft. Not car jackings. They was, these guys actually stole cars. They didn't jack people, so it was a good movie. I mean, you'll, you'll like this one. New Jersey Drive. Don't come up really in a lot of conversations when we talk about like urban movies, crime movies, urban crime movies, hood movies, but it's one that is well slept on. But look, if you slept on this one, you never heard of it. Check this one out. I'm not sure what other formats is on. I have it on DVD. I had it for a long time, so New Jersey Drive. Now we're moving into the top three. I'm quite sure people who's not people who don't really collect urban movies or or hood movies got these three. Um, these three are the main three. They always come up in conversation. Rightfully so. They are great movies. I mean, it's it's a reason why these three sit at the top of the hood movie strata. And we're gonna start with number three. Juice. Tupac Shakur, Omar Epps. I mean, you got um it's just a it's just a great movie, a great movie. It's engaging. Tupac gave a performance, in my opinion, he gave a performance of a lifetime. This was to me. He said he did a few movies. This by far was his best. I really liked Juice. Juice was incredible. Um, now we're going to go to two, one and two, or two and one, and you know. It's always been a debate out of, the, out of these two, which one is the best. Um, I watched a couple of the top 25 list videos for the Tim Talk Talkies Challenge. And a couple of lists, both of these popped up one. But generally, I always saw Boys in the Hood ahead of Menace. So these are my one and two. But let's talk about this real quick before we go. I don't think you can go wrong picking Boys in the Hood over Menace or Menace over Boys in the Hood. It's just always a bit of popular debate with these two movies, which one is better. Now, me personally, Menace to Society is the number one hood movie of all times. Boys in the Hood is 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 right on its behind. It's it, to me it's number two. It's the second greatest hood movie of all time. Let me explain. Menaces, I mean, Boys in the Hood, it's, it's, it's got all the elements. It's got everything. But the one thing about men, uh, Boys in the Hood that I do like, it's got a little bit of hope at the end of the movie. It's got a little bit of, it's not all despair. There's a little bit of hope in this one. Great movie, great cast. This one was definitely the first of its kind. This movie right here was... Boys in the Hood had everybody talking. Boys in the Hood, when this movie first came out, it had everybody talking, most definitely. Now, out of the two, which one is more popular? It's no, it's Boys in the Hood is a is definitely the more popular movie. But now we move into number one, 
Menace to Society, in my opinion, what makes Menace to Society the best hood movie ever is because from the very beginning of the movie all the way to the end, there is basically no hope for Omar, I mean, for um, O-Dog and Kane. There's really no hope for these two guys. They're destined to, to I'm surprised O-Dog, I think he made it and got locked up. Yeah, he got locked up at the end. And we know what happened to Kane. Sharif got killed. But the actors, the acting in this movie, not to say Boys in the Hood didn't have great talent, but the talent level in this, just, you had a lot going on in this movie. I mean, with the with the car thefts, with Chauncey, I mean, um, what's his name? Clifton Powell. Clifton Powell played the hell out of Chauncey. Jada Pinkett did her part in this movie. Um, Charles Dutton did his part as Sharif's dad. The young actor who plays Sharif. Everybody just did their part. Same in Boys in the Hood, but same with Boys in the Hood. But this one just was on a different level. It This one, I don't know, this one hit different to me. It really did. Old Dog, man, Old Dog, that dude, he car Lorenz Tate carried the movie. Don't get me wrong, he carried the movie. There has never been, in my opinion, in a Hood movie, a character as wild as Old Dog. He just plain out didn't give a fuck. Excuse my language. He just didn't. I mean, he just didn't. There was there was no... He was like... You remember Batman? You guys remember Batman, The Dark Knight, when Alfred was telling Bruce, you, some men you just can't bargain with, you can't buy, you can't reason with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Old Dog was the dude where you couldn't bargain with him, you couldn't buy him. He just wanted to watch the hood burn. That's why I love this movie. It was the character of Old Dog. He, if it wasn't for Old Dog, Boys in the Hood would be the better movie. But Old Dog took this movie to a whole different level. So that's why I'm calling Boys in the Hood the best hood movie or urban crime movie. Period. There's nothing better than Menace to Society. So that's my list. Honorable mention. I don't have it in my collection, but it's definitely an honorable mention. It's called Strapped. That's a great movie. If you can get your hands on that one, you might want to go ahead and check out Strap. Also, you might want to check out Wesley Snipes' other movie that didn't make this list, Sugar Hill. Banging movie. Not quite a hood movie, but it's definitely an urban crime movie. So you might want to go ahead and check that one out. Thanks for checking me out. I'll see you in the next one.